Hi, this is Keith. Uh, I was asked to do a video on how to create assignments in Google Classrooms from Google Slides, Google Docs, uh, things like that, and how to grade it. If you're using the same form, like I have a claim evidence reasoning here, if you're using the same form and all you're changing is the question, the prompt, whatever, then I think it pays to do it in slides because I can create a background uh, that will that the kids can't move around. So this is my claim evidence reasoning uh, form. And as you can tell, I can click on all of these shapes, all of this text. I added all this to make it look the way I wanted it to, right? What I can do from here, once you've created the way you want it to look, is go up to file and download as a PNG image. When I do that, and I've called it uh, CER, Claim Evidence Reasoning, Background. So it will save to my Downloads folder. Open up a brand new presentation, and then right click on it, and then Change Background. I'm gonna choose the image. I'm gonna upload from my computer, go to my Downloads, and there's my CER Background. When I open that, this is done. It you The kids can't move it around. It's the actual background. So now I'm going to title this just CR uh, student for right now. And now I can add text boxes where I want the students or myself to change information every time. So I want to be able to put in a new question every time. Um, I want them to be able to put in a new claim. Uh, I want them to be able to put in a new, the new evidence that they found and their reasoning behind why they did those things. So those, anytime they're in their slide, when they open their slide, they can just double click in a in one of the boxes and be able to type. Okay, so that's how to create this without a movable background. How to assign it in Google Classroom is I try not put anything on my stream to create an assignment. Click create assignment and we're just going to put CER and I can put some instructions whatever so when you get to your uh, Google Classroom click over in the Classworks tab to create an assignment I'm just going to put CER uh, you can put instructions thing and I'm just going to go to my Google Drive should be in the recents. There it is. And it what I want to do here is I want to make it a copy for each student. I can change the point value. I usually make my assignments worth five points. I can put a due date, say end of the week. And I can put a topic. I think topics are really valuable for organizing your Google Classroom, and we can assign that. What the students will see when they click on Classwork is under my topic, Week 8, they're going to see the CER. And when they click on this, they will, and notice it says Keith M. Dash. It puts the student name attached uh, to the file name because every student gets their own copy. So the question would already be there. You would just double click and you would type, you know, whatever. They would just type on it in each, each, each box, right? And then when they're done with that, it automatically saves. They go back, they view assignment. It's been attached in their work. It says your work, this is from the student perspective, your work, uh, it's been attached, they can turn it in. They can also make 
uh, private comments to you telling you how they did something or why they did something or I've had students submit all kinds of things, why it was late, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to grading, you're going to go through, click on it, and it'll say one turned in. So I click on that. It says that Keith M has turned it in. I could, if this is a credit, no credit situation, uh, you can just grade from here and just put in a grade. If you need to see it, you open it and you can actually see their, the one that they typed on, their individual one, and it tells you what student that was. Again, you can, any private comments that the student sent you will be here and you can reply to those private comments. From here, I can look at it and I can enter a grade, right? If this was sent to me with just this on it, I would obviously not give it a grade. I wouldn't give it a zero necessarily. I would just simply return it. Uh, it's the same as just handing the piece of paper back to the student in real life. This is not complete, finish it. And then I would probably put a private comment on here addressing it. If you're doing multiple, uh, like a whole class worth of grading, you don't need to return each one individually. It takes a lot more time. You can grade all of them and then here, it's return multiple submissions and it'll return them all at the same time, which I find is just a time saver. But let's just do this and return it. This is the problem with returning each one individually is this window comes up and you have to verify that you want it returned, where if you're doing multiples at a time, everything comes up. That's how you grade with a, a Google Classroom, uh, inside Google Classroom. When we go back, you can see that the grade is there. There is a way, if you're using Aries for a grade book, uh, to import the grade straight from Google Classroom into Aries. Uh, go to the assignment and uh, click Enter Grades in, in Aries. And if you click the Show More, it'll say Import from Google. There'll be a button saying Import from Google. Uh, when you click that, it'll ask you for which grade book do you want it from, like period two, and then what assignment from Google Classroom is associated with the assignment in Gradebook. Uh, you click on that, and it just imports all the grades. That's really it. So if you have any questions, uh, as always, email me. Thanks.